Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I Keshwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the math portion of the GRE. We have been solving math problems out of this book here, the official guide to the GRE, the revised general test. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. The problem that we are about to solve is the one that you will find on page number 219. Today is our lesson number 82, page 219, the very last problem, the problem number 7. They are asking us for prime factorization of 585. How do you find prime factors of, of an, how do you find prime factors of a number? Well, this is not something new. We've been doing, we've been at it for the last 2-3 days. On day number 78, we did the prime factorization of 372, which is very similar to what we're going to do today. On day 79, on the, on the 79th video, I did not solve any problem at all. I spent the entire uh, length of the video discussing the concept of prime factors and enumerating uh, the prime factors from 1 through 100. And yesterday, we talked about prime factors of 100 and 144. So if you have not watched these videos, and if you are one of those people who have trouble with these kind of questions, these, these three are excellent videos uh, to watch, particularly, even though I say so myself, whether or not they're ex ex excellent, it's up to you to decide, obviously. Uh, this one in particular, you may find helpful. Notice how I changed my tone, instead of saying you will find it helpful, I said you may find it helpful. Uh, if, if you're one of those people who have trouble with the concept of prime numbers, and recognizing whether a given number is a prime number or not. Let's start with this one. So what we do is, we take our 585, we take our 585 and we start dividing it by the lowest possible number that we can think of, other than 1 obviously. We can't divide 585 by 2 because it's not an even number. Let's see if it's divisible by 3. And if you remember the rule, a number, a number, is divisible by 3 if, if its sum of the digits is divisible by 3. That is the rule. You add up the digits, you add up the digits of the number, and if it's divisible by 3, then the number is divisible by 3. So we're going to try it here. 585, if you add up the digits of 585, that's 5 plus 8 plus 5. Oh, what do you know? By golly, 5 plus 5 is 10, plus 8 is 18. This thing goes into 3. Let's do it. I didn't realize it. I was about to divide it by 5. So that's, that's how we find prime factorization. If you do, if I had I divided by 5, we may have gotten lucky and we may not have gotten hurt. Or well, there's a chance that we may have gotten some the wrong answer. Always divide by the lowest possible prime factor that you can find. Low, lowest possible number that you can find. Forget about uh, Don't worry about what I just about what I just said about be, it being prime number. Don't worry about that part. It will happen automatically. Find the lowest number that you can find. Three is the lowest one, not five. So how many five? How many threes in a five? Five has one three. The remaining two goes and joins this guy becomes twenty-eight. How many threes in twenty-eight? There are 9 3's in 28, because 9 3's are 27. The remaining one goes and joins this guy, it becomes 15. How many 5's in a 15? There are 5 5's in a 15. Voila. Oh, we can go one more time with 3. 1 plus 3, right here, 195. 195, we have 1 plus 9 plus 5. This was 585. 585 is divisible by 3, because the sum was 18. The sum of the digits was 18. Here, 1 plus 9 is 10, plus 5 is 15. 15 can be divided by 3, so 195 can be divided by 3. Let's do it. How many 3's in a 1? 0 3's in a 1. That one goes and joins this guy, becomes 19. How many 3's in 19? Well, there are 6 3's in 18. The remaining one goes and joins this guy, becomes 15. How many 3's in a 15? There are 5 3's. Voila. Now 6 plus 5 is 11. 11 cannot be divided by 3, so this number does not go into 3. It doesn't go to 4, obviously, because it's not an even number. Let's try 5. How many 5 in a 6? 
6 has 1 5. The remaining one goes and joins this guy becomes 15. How many 5s in a 15? 3 of them. Voila, we are done. That's it. So now, our prime factors are, we do not repeat anything that, is, uh, that occurs more than once. We just list them, we just use, list the unique numbers here. The prime factors are, prime factors, prime factors of 585 are the 3, the 5, and the 13. That's it, voila. 585, despite being such a large number, has only 3 prime factors. 3, 5, and 13. 3, 5, and 13. Prime factors of 13, right here. The prime factors of Prime, prime, the prime factors of 585 are 3, 5, and 13. That's all there is. That's all. That's all she wrote. I will see you tomorrow, where we'll start the problems on the next page. Alright? Bye until then.